Well, just fired that thing off, let it run a little bit. Here's what's left of my fire from last night, on um, Saturday night or whatever. So yeah. A little bit of fire left. I gotta put that in the tent. I just had to help the neighbor later find her dog. Me and a little stinker wouldn't come near. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna take this, go back into there, and uh, see if I can break trail, get the splitter back there. So dragging the wood out and all that fun crap. Here we go. Oh. See if I can do this one handed. Turn, fucker. Man, this thing takes wide turns. Thinking I want to go in through there. Let's try it, see what happens. And there's big brush in the way. I wonder if I dare try running that over. Hang on, I finally got it back here. That's an ordeal and a half. Those tires are way too small. It needs bigger tires to be going out in the woods with it. Because all it wants to do is go every which way but straight. But yeah, I need to get this out of here today. Get it split and take my little wagon and start loading that up full of wood. I need to start getting shit stacked around out of time. It's the weekend before Halloween. No, I got a couple weekends, but still. I'm running out of time. Like I said, I got more money than time right now. It's kind of nice, but kind of sucks. All right, let's try this again. My camera froze up on me. Well, most of the tree is gone. Um, this guy has a branch sticking out of it. Big fucking branch to boot, too. See? Gotta lop that off the chainsaw. Um, that bastard must split in half. There's some serious weight there. And then this chunk lane over here, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Um, as you can see, where the color changes here in the middle. It's all rotten. So pretty much a ring like this all the way around is the only thing that's worth a shit for uh, burnable wood, because otherwise it, when you run through splitter, it just chunks up. But yeah, that's what you end up with right there, that tree. Doesn't look like much. Yeah, that pile's about three, three and a half feet tall. Uh, at least it's done. Now I just gotta wheel it out of here. You got a lot of trees down. Got that guy over there to do yet. Well, there's two of them. And then there's one right here. And hopefully, if I take a chainsaw and whack it in the middle, it'll pivot down and it'll knock the rest of that tree down. And I still got four more out there. And then there's three right in a row. On the tree line, I can drop out there, but. As you can see from the trees moving, I ain't cutting any trees down today. Last thing I need is to go wonky. And there's no, unless I clear out a lot of brush where there's no good escape routes to get the hell out of the way if the tree goes the wrong way. But yeah, this is that uh, top of that tree that fell down this summer. And as you can see, the pile of wood's still sitting there. So I got that pile, I got that pile, I got this one. And then, way the hell over there, I got another pile. Split, ready to get stacked. I'm just trying to get everything split up. And then, uh, just stack like a madman. Yeah, a couple hours of the work and most of it's out of here. 
So, yeah. I'm going to finish up. I'm going to hack that off. I'm going to split that guy and then uh, pull the log splitter up. And I got some other projects I got to get done today. Yeah, I'll make some short videos of that too. It's going to be kind of a busy day. Oh, <laughs>